this is going to kill you. You're never going to be a hundred percent. You know, this, this addiction is going to overcome you and for you to, uh, get through it. There's people here that'll help you. Brightview, I heard, I actually, it was a, a do or die situation. My wife found it and she said, either you go to Brightview or me and the seven grandkids and your kids are leaving. We are done. You support yourself. You lost your job because of alcoholism after 40 years. And I was only like, out of 200 people, I was like number 18 on a seniority list. So I, I lost everything. I went off an 85 foot cliff in my Jeep, totaled my car, just blacked out because I was having withdrawals from alcohol. So yeah, and that's that's how I found Brightview. I only read like and write on a third grade education. I never went to school. I was abused as a child, molested. So, and then I grew up in a family oriented bar situations. So I grew up being changed on a pool table and all were on the bar. My grandfather tried to shoot us. So yeah, those are just kind of some of the things that led me up to be an alcoholic. I mean, it was do or die situation. I had to, I had to stop anyway, or I was going to die because I was drinking a pint to a fifth a day. And I'd drink a pint in 25 minutes. So, you know, and then I'd finish the rest off and I was going, I was driving drunk. I was going to work drunk. So, yeah, and that's how I heard from about Brightview. Once I got into this group of people, I just couldn't imagine, you know, they taught me so much how to deal with alcoholism and how to support my family and how my family can help me be better or be me, Adam, what I was when me and my wife first got together. I can't speak enough about these people. I can't, you know, they, I was going through the withdrawals, the GTs, I lost a job, I had no income. I was, I was at my wit's end. I was in a very dark place, you know? Uh, and I had dirty thoughts going through my mind. And these people helped me find my way through the fog into, you know, a light where I could be safe. I learned about myself because I was, I had self-esteem issues as a, and an alcoholic and being abused and molested as a child, I learned that that didn't, that didn't make me, you know, it taught me, they taught me how to shun away from that. You know, I don't know the right word to use for it, but they taught me how to respect myself and feel about myself and knowing that that wasn't me that was doing that. You know, that was, that was them. That was their, their desire, their whatever, you know, and they, they taught me that I had self-esteem. They taught me that, you know, you raised a family, you raised a family of four, you know, you put them through college, you've done everything as a father. Just because you're not working now doesn't mean you're not worth something because you are worth something. You're worth something to your kids. You're worth something. I talk to my son now more than I have in the last 15 years. He's 34. And because of being an alcoholic, I wasn't allowed to see his daughter. You know, so, you know, he calls me almost every day. We was like this growing up as kids till, you know, maybe 14, 15, and then the drinking. I just kind of separated myself from them. They done their thing with their mom and running and stuff. Now that, you know, I'm back to being sober. Yeah, it, it just makes my heart well that I know that I can look at my grandkids. I'm able to watch my grandkids alone. And that's what I do now. I stay home with my grandkids. I watch four of them every day. And I put them on school bus and, you know, get them off school bus and their parents come. You know, that means a lot to me that they trust me with their children because I wasn't allowed to even be, they wouldn't come to the house. They wouldn't even come in the same room with me. They wouldn't allow them to, no hugs, no kisses. So, you know, it makes it, it's a big deal. It's a big deal in my heart knowing that I've, 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 I've conquered that. These people up front, you know, up front and the back. Everybody that does anything with me, you know, the counseling, the group sessions, there's been 110%. You know, they've always called. They've always asked how you're doing. You know, they just, they're just fantastic. They taught me how to deal with it and, you know, and how to talk to other people about it. They actually got me set up with a, a nurse practitioner and helped me with, you know, with vitamins and vitamin E, B, D, you know, getting my body healthy. And, you know, it's a, it's a process. It's taken a year to, with vitamins and everything 
to get my body in a healthy place. They came to me and treated me like I was a, a person. You know, they comforted me. They, you know, they stood over top of me. They, they held my hand. Whatever I needed, they was there for me.